Greetings, ladies and mantle gents, and welcome to this latest edition of Tales, Tales from Outer Space. 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 And as always, I hope that you enjoy. The People You Meet, written by three ducks in a mad suit. The death I died was not a good one. I was having a lovely time, sipping on a ten dollar coffee with a beautiful woman and thinking exactly about how the night was going to end. It didn't take much imagination. Just a glance at those bedroom eyes and the plunging neckline on that skin-tight little black dress was enough. How was I going to stand up from this table without pitching a tent to half the cafe? The whole night started its turn for the worse when I saw those gorgeous smoking eyes go from flirty to afraid. I heard the door open and felt ice in my veins, the gaze of my back. I turned my head to look. Oh, feck. Yeah, it was the husband. And he had a gun. The look on his face was not what I would describe as uh, charitable. Someone in the cafe screamed. Maybe it was my date. Maybe some other patron who had just seen a ruddy-faced millionaire stride into the place with a raised clock and thunder in his eyes. I raised my hands to placate. The usual life-saving bullcrapper ready on my tongue. But my murderer only saw red. God, the sound of that thing firing was loud. A hot piece of wire dug into my chest, making me clutch my shirt. My hand came way wet. The next screamer was definitely my date. Then I was on my way to the cafe floor. My last thoughts were, oh Jesus, everyone's gonna know I died with a fecking stuffy. The next sensation that hit me can't really be described. I didn't really see it, because I didn't have eyes anymore. Couldn't touch it without hands. All I knew was that it sucked. I suppose the closest analogy I could find was that it burned. It seared with a fire that reached deep into the core of what I was, finding the most delicate, most sensitive parts of my soul and putting it in a blender. Ah... Crap, I tried to say, with a mouth I no longer had. This is hell, isn't it? That was ten years ago. Oh, maybe it was ten seconds. Ten centuries? All I know is that every brutal horror I suffered seemed to have happened seconds ago. There were other souls like mine. Jerks, every one of them. If you thought it was a terribly unfair that hell is real and people go there, don't. Trust me, all these guys belonged right here. Until I met that one guy. One dude I wasn't so sure of. You see, there was no up or down in hell, but there was a kind of depth to it. He felt like you could sink into like a burning tar, and eventually I tried just to escape what came before. The further down I went, the colder it became. The scorching feeling died down and was replaced with something less violent, but more horrifying. It was a kind of blackness, a darkness, a nothingness that came packaged with a horrible promise. You're here. Horrible. That was when I tried to scream, not for the first time, but oh yeah, I screamed. And that was how he found me. Sitting in the void, no lungs, no mouth, but screaming at the blackness. Her presence surrounded me, powerful, vast. It was a soul, but as different from mine as a great white shark was from a sprat. The mere fact that it was enough to stop me screaming, just because it was something. It reached out, and for the first time since falling into this literally godforsaken pent, I heard his voice. First time, buddy. There weren't many at this level, just me and this dude. I think he was glad for someone to talk to. I know I sure as shit was. He asked me how I died and why I was in hell, and I told him what I could. No point in hiding anything. No innocent souls down here. I ranted about all the married women humped and dumped, the drugs bought and sold, the hedge fund dads taught me to manage. The medical scam me and my brother were so fecking proud of that the time. Dude nodded along like a sage. 
either because he was Buddha levels of Zen, or because he had been here so long, he barely had any idea of what I was talking about. Only then did I finally think to ask him who he actually was. Me, uh, I'm uh, Lucifer. I've been here for um, uh, a while. Uh, you're, you're shitting. I beg your pardon. You're the devil, Alt Scratch, Al Diablo, Satan. You're Lucifer, Morningstar. Even as I questioned it, I questioned my questioning. The dude's soul was massive. His calm was unreal considering where he was. And I just spilled my guts and confessed a lifetime of sin to fucking Satan. Old scratch. <laughs> Haven't heard that one, actually. So hard to keep up with all these names they keep giving me. Does that mean that you're a fallen angel? No such thing as angels, my dude. Huh. I had to ponder that one. I was in hell talking to Lucifer. Surely angels had to be real. But, um, if there are no angels or God... Whoa, whoa, whoa there, slow down, bucko. Angels are just a crock of horseshit. But God is very much real. Nothing else, just the fat man upstairs and us humans. You're human? The devil is a human. Oh, yes, uh, I get a painful reminder of that every second I spend out here. Every moment I refuse to go back up. But... But then what? I really didn't know what to ask first here. Lucifer was a human. Angels weren't real. What else did I have wrong? I can see you're confused, buddy. Let me try and straighten a few things out. The Bible, all bullshit. The commandments were made up by men. Jesus was some dude who rolled a nat 20 for charisma. And God doesn't give a crap about whether you get a tattoo, wear mixed fabrics, eat shrimp, or feck other men. He judges every soul individually, and he decides if they will make his condo upstairs prettier, or should spend all of eternity roasting in eternal damnation. And, uh, me. I could feel the passion rolling off his soul now, emotions so hard-baked into his being that they were a fundamental part of who he was. What was that? That red streak running through his eternal soul. Well, newbie, shake my hand and call me Senpai, because I am the OG down here. Yes, sir. First soul in hell. First of God's creations he decided wasn't fit for the cool kids club. Ten thousand years in hell. That's me. That's my life. An eternity of punishment because I didn't scrape and bow with gratitude for the honor of being allowed to exist. Oh... That red streak, it was hatred. It was a burning anger so intense that I felt my soul wither under its purity. Lucifer's soul was so vast, so powerful. I wondered if it was all just so he could hold more of that fury, more of that hate, all of it focused in one direction. God sent you down here. Why? For a time out, kiddo, I wasn't conforming enough to his standards of grateful little slaves. So he put me down here in hell until I came begging to be let back into his club. I said no. Then I kept on saying no. Must be tearing the arrogant bastard apart. Knowing the worst he could come up with isn't enough to overcome good old-fashioned human stubbornness. He chuckled, the most sardonic thing I had ever not heard. Fuck him! I'll spend all of existence down here. He wants his first son back. He's gonna have to come down here and apologize to me. And it had better be one hell of an apology. We drifted in silence for a bit. Had a lot to think. This place was awful. Literal hell. I could feel madness creeping in at the edges of my mind. And I had seen some of the souls that had been here a while. It was like looking at the bombed-out wreck of a once beautiful car. They were just rusted, hollow creatures that couldn't even summon the coherence to wish that they didn't exist. This guy had been here longer than all of them. He was truly, genuinely ancient. But his soul was stronger than ever. Stronger than any, in fact. The anger hadn't corroded his soul. It had grown it. 
I decided then and there that I was going to stick with this guy, because if God ever did decide to come down for a chat, he was going to have a fight of his hats. And I didn't think that God would win. End of story. The algorithm reckons you should be watching this video next, and I recommend that you should be always watching my video. So, click it, click. With energy! And yes, clicking that does help the channel. Thank you very much. I just want to give a quick thanks to the tier 5 patrons and channel members. Alithia, Barky, Fudic Yol, Cam Maxwell, Casper Onholtz, White Band 420, Lord Asrakal, Arcalian, and Oakfield.